Let's learn how to run a Laravel application from a subdirectory on a Nginx web server. To show you what our end goal is, I have two Laravel applications running on this server. You can see this is the main application that's just running from the root domain. But if we go to the subdirectory of admin, we see a completely different application. All right, and it's more than just styling differences. These are two separate Laravel applications running on this server. Now, in this example, I did set it up so that the root server address is loading a Laravel application, but that's optional. If you just want to have a Laravel application via subdirectory and maybe something else running on the root, what I'm about to show is going to work for that as well. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to pause the video and undo the configs, and then I'm going to walk you through how I set this up. So I'm currently logged into my server via VS Code. And to see what we have set up already, I'm going to look at the directory contents of my var ww directory. And you can see I've got my two applications already set up. This is my admin application, and this is my main application. If we go into either of them and look at the contents, we could see the basic uh, files you would expect of a Laravel application. I've already set up the environment files for those applications. I set the appropriate permissions for things like my storage and bootstrap cache directory. So they're ready to run. We just need to set up the Nginx configs. To do this, I'm going to go over to the notes that accompany this video. And all the configs we need are here. So I'm just going to copy this. And then on my server, I'm going to go into my etc nginx sites available directory. I'm going to create a new config file in here. I'll just call it demo.conf. And I'll paste in those configs. And then scrolling to the top, the first thing I'm going to edit is the server name. I'm going to fill in the domain I'm using for this example, which is hesweb. .xyz. Then for root, I want to indicate the directory that's going to be loaded when we visit that root domain. In my case, I have it set up to go to that main application. Uh, and specifically, whenever we're setting up Laravel applications, we always point to the public subdirectory within our application folder. Um, now, if I was not setting up a Laravel application for the root domain, uh, let's say I just wanted to point to my basic HTML directory where I have an index file, I would just simply set it to something like that. The next several settings are boilerplate stuff you'll see in any Laravel Nginx config. We're indicating which file to look for when we're requesting a directory. This uh, section here is routing everything through our Laravel index controller. Uh, this is giving instructions for how the PHP file should be handled. Um, whenever you're watching this, make sure you update this with the appropriate version of PHP that you're currently running on your server. Uh, if you're not sure, you can run the command php-version. You see, in my case, it's 8.2, so that's the version I'm using here. All right, so like I said, that's boilerplate stuff. Here's where we actually get to the subdirectory configuration. So I've got a location directive. Here's my subdirectory. So if you're using something other than admin, you want to change this here. And then within there, we have an alias directive where we specify the document root for the application of this uh, subdirectory. So in my case, that's going to point to that admin directory. And once again, we want to make sure we go one step further into the public subdirectory. Following that, we have another try files directive. Um, just like the one above, the role of this is to make sure that any incoming requests to this application are handled via our main uh, Laravel controller within that public subdirectory. Now, in this example, we're using an Nginx name location. So we're referencing at admin. And where this is defined, if we look down, we have another location directive where we're specifying what to do with that name directive. And we're saying we're going to rewrite any traffic to forward slash admin over to admin forward slash index.php, which if we circle back to this original location, we've indicated that the alias for that is this public subdirectory. So this index.php is actually going to map to the index.php file within that public subdirectory. And then finally, just like we had above, we're indicating how to handle PHP files when they're accessed within this directory. So once again, just make sure you're putting the appropriate PHP version there. So that section within this config for the location admin and the admin named location, that's really the key parts of what makes the subdirectory magic work in this config. Everything that comes after it is, again, just boilerplate configs you'll see for Laravel Nginx configs. And I have included comments uh, explaining what those directives are doing if you're not sure. But moving right along, let's get these configs enabled. The way I'm going to do that, if we go back to the notes that accompany this video and you go to the very end, uh, there's some commands we're going to run. The first command is going to create a symbolic link from our config file in the sites available directory over to our sites enabled directory. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to run it and just update the name of the config file to match what I called it here, which is demo.conf. And just to confirm that works, let's go over to sites enabled. And there we could see that symbolic link. All right, next up, just to make sure we don't have any syntax errors, I'm going to run the command nginx-t to test our configs. 
looks like we're good. So let's make these changes take effect by restarting Nginx using the system control restart Nginx command. And then let's go back to the browser and test this out. So I'm going to start with my main domain. And there we go. There's our main app. And let's go over to forward slash admin. And perfect. And I also set up some routes on both of these apps just to make sure the routing system is working as well. So on my admin app, I have a users page. So this is just forward slash users. And you can see the content change there. And then the same thing for our main app. I just created an about page. And you can see that that route is working as well. So hopefully this helped you out if you were looking to run a Laravel application from a subdirectory on a Nginx-based web server. Uh, and if you want some more detailed guides on setting up site configs like I showed in this video, deploying Laravel applications, I have a couple videos that might be of interest, and I'll include some links for them on the screen.